The Warriors, despite not having Stephen Curry, Andre Iguodala, and Draymond Green, defeat the Detroit Pistons 105 to 102. This game was close, but I think, you know, if you're not going to have Stephen Curry for a game, make it be against the Pistons because obviously they're not a very good team coming into this. They're 4 and 10. Warriors trying to hold on to that very good record. And now with this victory, they're 14 and 2. This game was incredible. I mean, honestly, you know, I think it goes to show that the Warriors, even without some of their best players, can still do great things. Um, they had a really great game from two players in specific, <clears throat> Jordan Poole and Andrew Wiggins, both. Uh, 32 points for Poole and 27 for Wiggins. Wiggins' defense was incredible um, and 32 for Jordan Poole. <clears throat> so that just goes to show the Warriors' potential. You know, even without Klay Thompson, Steph Curry, Draymond Green, and Andre Iguodala, they can have incredible games from some of these players. And yeah, they only won by three points. <clears throat> but I think it's still a very good win. Uh, the Warriors just kind of had not super good fourth quarter, but besides that, every other quarter was very, very good. Uh, they had 26 in the first, 30 in the second, 30 in the third, and yeah, 19 in the fourth. And the Pistons had a, their best quarter was the fourth for the Pistons. Um, but obviously, we know they're not a very good team. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, but the Warriors bench was very good as well. They had 14 points from Nemanja Bialica. Um Gary Payton the second was in the starting lineup today, obviously, because uh, Steph Curry was out, so they needed another guard besides Poole. Uh, he had 12 points in 29 minutes, pretty good. Um, but yeah, really good game from the Warriors. Uh, Juan Toscano Anderson was also in the starting lineup. He kind of played the Draymond Green role, not really scoring too much, but getting a lot of assists. He had nine assists total, six rebounds. Um, <clears throat> I'm pleased with this team, 14 and two. That's great. I mean, they're just a really good team right now. I'm super happy with what they're doing. Um, and they're going to head back home now and go on a little bit of a homestand, starting with the Raptors tomorrow and then playing um, the 76ers. But I think they're just so good. And I hope Stephen Curry returns. Um, he had, like, a, like I said, a little bit of a contusion uh, a couple nights ago. So they give him the night off. And I think it's fine because we obviously got the win. <clears throat> they're just so great. I, I, I think it's amazing what they're doing, despite not having some of their best players. Um, it was it was great though today uh, what they were able to do. Um, you look at their stats, three pointers. They were forty percent. Obviously, you're, you don't have Curry, so you're not going to have as many as you normally do. Um, field goal percentage pretty good though, about fifty percent. Not too bad. Uh, they just yeah they they played good, and I think Wiggins really likes that role. I think you know these guys. You know when Clay comes back, some of these guys might be on the bench. Um, starting the game and I think they've really proven to be like you know really good players off the bench Gary Payton the second had a pretty good game he's more of a defensive player obviously but still he had 12 points and Bielitsa was making a lot of threes he's obviously you know very good player I think he you know you could even consider him a sixth man uh, in some circumstances um, but I really like what he was doing <clears throat> but yeah really clutch from the Warriors I mean putting that game away uh, I thought they might let it go at the end there, uh, but it was really close, 105, 102. I mean, that's only three points. Um, really, really good, though. And uh, we'll see what they can do against the Raptors. Uh, the Raptors, I don't think, are a very good team. Um, so hopefully they can get a win. Yeah, the Raptors are um, they're, they're 8 and 9, so a very average team. And I think the Warriors are just, the momentum is hitting them. They're on a roll, and I think they're capable of a lot of things right now. I hope they can just keep this up and Steph Curry and everyone else gets healthy again so we can have our team back and running at their full potential as soon as possible. Um, but yeah, very good game for the Warriors. They moved to 14-2, and, two, and uh, yeah. So anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts. I'll see you guys later, and go Warriors.